Hello everyone, welcome back to today's prayer devotion made through the rosary. For today is our fifth day of the May um, prayer through the um, praying the rosary devotion. For today we will be looking at what it means to be fertile and the fertility I'm looking at here is to be how to be fertile in Christ. So we'll begin uh, our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit and fill the heart of your faithful and enkindle in us the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the faith of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, who taught the heart of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the same Spirit we may be ever truly wise and rejoice in his consolation through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died and was buried. On the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. There he will come to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now, and today of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end, amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Jesus, have mercy on us. Mother Mary, help us. May the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. May their soul rest in peace, amen. So, for today's intention, as I mentioned, we'll be looking at what it means to be fertile in Christ. And the fertility I'm talking about is not the multiplication of children through childbirth, but rather the multiplication of the faithful through preaching the word of God, inspiring and also mentoring slash coaching them in their faith. So that's the type of area of fertility that I would like to focus on. So, one thing um, about fertility that I learned is that, um, obviously, for you to be fertile, you, you have to sow in something. So, that sowing can be sowed into you by someone else, or you can sow that into yourself by picking up the Word of God, for example, the Bible, or anything that is Christ-related, to read and learn for yourself. So when you do that, you, what you're doing is sowing. So, and then once you sow, you also have to conceive the message. So what do I mean by conceiving the message? To conceive is actually to believe in the message that you have been taught. To conceive in the message is about trusting that what you have been taught to be right and trusting in the person that you believe to be your one true God. And also being moved and inspired then to do something about it. Okay, so a lot happens in the period of conception. And once you conceive in this situation, there is always a period um, of between the nine months that a person or a woman has a child. I don't know what that period is called, to be honest, but within that period there is something that happens that's like when you sow a seed there is a period that it takes for it to get its roots before it start germinating or will start sprouting and start coming out from the ground so i'll just compare that period as the same as that uh, as a pregnant woman's 
time where the child is still being nurtured, the child is still, um, or the seed that has been sowed um, once conceived, um, is still being nurtured, is still being trained, is still getting their hands and feet formed. Is in that period, what happens in that period is the word then starts building in you. The words that you receive start speaking to you. God start doing a lot of things within your heart and your mind about the messages that you've received about him. So a lot happens during that period of conception. And also um, at that time, you start developing the confidence to learn how to use what you've learned to preach or teach others. So that's the type of fertility that I'm looking at. So when you have been given that seed and you have conceived, obviously for you to be fertile, to be, for me, for you to be considered fertile is that you have to produce the fruit, okay? And fruitfulness is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, isn't it? So we have to produce a fruit. And so the production of that fruit is where you then use what you've been taught for the good of others and the good for the kingdom of God. So that's when that fruitfulness comes because you are not fruitful until what you have been taught has been used in a way that has been that has affected someone else or can be felt by other people or can be seen as well either by your work or, um, or in other people's lives so that's the kind of fruitfulness i am looking at so that's what makes you fertile in christ because at this point you are using what you've been taught to teach others and i love um the way psalm 51 um sums it up it says teach me your um teach me so that um I can teach transgressors your way and it's different psalms it teach it says teach me direct me so that i can tell others and that's the whole purpose of christianity is that we are taught so that we can teach others and to teach others is not by being quiet and hoping that your character will for some reason manifest itself in other people's life because remember the devil is also a good person to some extent <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so he also has good characters um, considered in a worldly part anyways. So I'm just saying that it's important that we start speaking the word of God and start using it to bring others close to God. And one thing that makes us infertile is when we start believing in our own thoughts, thinking that we can't speak because of others, um, of fear of judgment because we feel like we are condemning others we feel like we are being judgmental sorry who taught you in the bible that you cannot when you tell other people to turn from their sin you are being judgmental i believe jesus did that several times and commanded his apostles to do the same and told them if anyone doesn't welcome you when you go to preach to them and to, um, to turn them into repentance leave so and he also commanded you, whatever he forgives or you forgive on earth, he's been forgiven in heaven. So therefore, for you to forgive, you must have thought something is wrong. So I really like to think for infertility comes with a lot of fear, um, also doubt um, and worry. And there, I've done a video about the two things that stops us from um, serving God. And these are the, some of the things that I mentioned in that video. So... The whole fruitfulness is about learning to use the thing that God has taught us and use it for the for the for the betterness of others and to serve God in, in doing in doing so. So that's one of the things I would like to speak about fruitfulness. And we also saw in the um, fourth third um, glorious ministry where the Holy Spirit was sent to them. And also in, um, during the ascension, the second mystery of the glorious mystery, and within the Bible verse, it tells you what the purpose of that Holy Spirit would be to the apostles and also give them the confidence to move 
and start preaching the word of God to others. So that's the kind of fruitful uh, fertility that I'm looking at because that type of fertility is the fertility that God honors and cherishes that we do, that we do not sit in on what we have learned. So imagine if people that like the top scientists, if the doc doctors and all the people do not teach you what you, they have learned, how would we know all these equations or all these things that we, we know now? And also, let's not use our own self-belief to be, um, overshadow what the Bible has taught. Because think of it, if um, if a doctor, because of what they believe, choose not to, what I mean, what they believe, I'm talking about just because they don't, the fear of killing the patients kind of thing like that, um, and the fear of judgment to say, if they, if because of that, they stop performing surgeries on people um, who would be saved, really. So I think uh, the point I'm making here is that let's not use uh, self-doubt to stop us from the doing the will of God and following the path that God has called us or telling people about God or letting people know that we are Christians. At least that's the minimum you can start. So that's the whole thing I would like to speak about this. And I pray to the Lord that he may give us that confidence to be able to preach and serve him that we may be fertile in him and trust in him for all our needs and may we in our own fruitfulness be able to touch the lives of others to bring him closer to he go to go bring them closer to god in jesus name i pray amen so that concludes this fifth day of this rosary devo devotion and we will continue again tomorrow okay thank you very much bye